So when we talk about union partnership and how important unions are for women, dollars and cents prove that case very concretely. And for those most in need, that union me membership is most valuable. The need for women to have a voice on the job was the topic at the historic Whitmore House in Washington, D.C., as the National Women's Law Center hosted AFL-CIO Secretary-Treasurer Liz Schumer. A typical woman who works full-time loses more than half a million dollars over her lifetime because we are paid less than men. Half a million dollars. That's staggering. Schuler says the status quo is not working, especially since non-union women often don't have access to earned sick leave or paid family leave, like the type new House Speaker Paul Ryan requested for himself. <laughs> he has voted against every single proposal to give workers more time and flexibility. And we support paid leave for Paul Ryan. <laughs> but you shouldn't have to be Speaker of the House to spend time with your family. That's why Schuler says we need to stand up for workers who are struggling. Struggling is a verb. It is hard work. And unfortunately, corporate policies are making our schedules less predictable, less flexible, less fair. Schuler explained the practice of clopening, where workers are forced to work back-to-back -back closing and opening shifts, with less than eight hours in between, and how women need to make what she calls quiet acceptance the enemy. And that's why it's so important that we pass the Schedules That Work Act, the Healthy Families Act, the Wage Act, legislation which would help level the playing field and give working women the opportunity to live ha happy, healthy, productive lives. Schuler also unveiled the National Survey of Working Women, which will measure conditions of women inside and outside the labor movement. The survey is open until December 4th. Tanya Hutchins, Machinist News Network.